Hello everyone. So with a handful of days left for prelims, you all might be in the last lab of your revision, of your preparations. In fact, you will be going for the revisions. And the most effective manner which many of, many of the toppers have mentioned is for revising, that is for re revision, is for attempting the maximum number of questions. That is attempt maximum number of questions and that too should not be some, uh, some vague questions like that. You should, ma you should attempt for uh, standard questions. In fact, you have several areas that you have to cover in, this, in these particular days. That is you have history, you have geography, you have economy, you have polity, you have science and technology, geography, uh, uh, environment, most important about environment, etc. So, if you get it, you, you might be thinking that if I had one more week or two more weeks, I could have completed everything. But again, it is not possible. We are having this handful, handful of days. So, what you can do is that you can precisely go for revision through the attempting maximum questions. And that's the reason why we at Neo IS we have come up with 125 questions for polity, for precisely for polity. And these pol these questions will comprehensively cover, or these particular questions will uh, will touch upon those areas which we believe are most important from your prelims point of view. So uh, it's having a very high probab probability area. These have been covered in this particular uh, in this particular questions. Now, as far as the preparation for prelims or the la uh, or the revisions is concerned, understand that polity is having a mix that is unlike other other area it is actually having a mix of conventional both conventional area as well as that of the current affairs one that is regarding the conventional area we can say constantly there there have been several areas which uh, upsc has asked and here it is the upsc is demanding demanding for the conceptual related clarity for example in 2017 there was a question relating to equality that is what exactly is equality meaning about that is absence of privileges second one was regarding the correlation between fundamental duties and legal duties and the third one, uh, there were several other questions also. So these are some areas which actually, uh, again, the third one was regarding uh, what exactly is the advantage or advantage of democracy. So these were some of the areas, there are several other questions also, but they actually tested your conceptual clarity. So that's the reason why, why you're getting such questions, uh, you need, what you need to do is that you need to uh, cool off yourself and then take time, analyze each and every statement and thereby you can actually, then and there itself you can eliminate those uh, unwanted statements and arrive to the questions, arrive to the right answer. So the beauty of prelims lies in the fact that you are having, the answer lies before you. You just have to pick what exactly is the correct answer. And that's the reason why getting tense will not help, just cool off and then try to attempt maximum questions. So from a prelims point of view, the conventional area that is uh, these clarity, conceptual clarity is very important. And there are certain areas that is constantly, uh, there have been several questions that has been repeated from these areas, like the fundamental rights, the fundamental duties, DPSP, that is Directive Principle of State Policy, Preamble, what exactly has been inserted in this preamble, etc. And also there are certain provisions relating to Parliament, regarding the bill, regarding the motions, uh, the motions, it, you can also link these motions with that of the current affairs, because recently no conference motion was, uh, was moved. Along the government, the opposition was trying to move a no, no conference motion. Along with that, the there was another. So question will not be from what exactly is no conference, no conference motion. The question may be something that UPSC knows that everyone will be preparing on no conference motion, and that's the reason why UPSC will be going for something else. That is something correlated with that of the no conference motion. That is with relate with relation to censure motion. So it would be asking about censure motion. It may be asking about censure motion. And also regarding what exactly is the difference between censure motion and uh, no conference motion, whether it can be introduced in Lok Sabha or both Rajya Sabha, etc. And along with that, privilege motion was also in use. Why? Because privilege motions were also moved. It was in, it was covered in daily, uh, daily. I mean, it was, uh, it was covered in daily news etc., uh, across the country. So two privilege motions were uh, were moved against. Uh, that is again one against the prime minister, the other one against uh, one the leader of uh, against an opposition leader. So what happens is that privilege motion is very important, along with that several other motions also, that is other motions are also important like that German motion etc. We have covered it. So this is also important along with that the bills, that is uh, the bills that is how these bills are passed, along with that the mo along with that uh, the committees, the various committees like the privilege com committee, the estimates committee, the public accounts committee etc. Et so these committees also, what are their constitution, what are their composition, how many of them are drawn from Lok Sabha, how many of them drawn, so, drawn from Rajya Sabha, which secretary uh, services them, etc. Just, uh, just revise it, it, is, it, it actually, quiz, the questions may come from these areas also. And regarding, regarding the current affairs related, it will not be asking directly about what exactly the current affairs is all about. 
it would be asking the concept that lies between behind this particular current affairs. So regarding no continuous motion, who all can who can actually uh, that is what is the minimum required uh, support that is uh, that is needed in order to move a no confidence motion, etc. And also regarding Supreme Court, you may also get a question regarding Supreme Court. It was also in news regarding Supreme Court the appointment, uh, the judges appointment. Uh, what all are the criteria? What all are the eligibility factors? Or what is the minimum age? What is the maximum age, etc. And also regarding the removal, that is. Uh, they were the leader of op the opposition party they were trying to come up with a removal procedure so that's a re removal motion that, that's the reason why you may also get a question regarding removal now here regarding the removal uh, please do understand that it would be asking whether it is asked for if, whether they, are, they require two third majority etc yeah they may they may ask like that but again they may go one step ahead that is they may ask question from what exactly is judicial inquiry act all about or what are the provisions of this judicial inquiry act so just go through what exactly Judicial Inquiry Act, etc. Uh, just have an idea. That's it. And since the question is before, the question is given. Answer is also listed before you. You can actually pick up the answer by eliminating the rest others and simply uh, and easily derive to the answer. And regarding the Office of Profit, it's also in news because uh, parliamentary secretaries uh, regarding a parliamentary secretaries understand what exactly parliamentary secretaries who appoint parliamentary secretaries, what exactly are their duties, etc. And regarding office of profit, whether they are they have been defined in the constitution, etc. And along with that, certain constitutional bodies like the National Commission for Minorities, uh, the National Commission for Backward Class. Why backward class? Because backward class was in news. Uh, 123rd Constitutional Amendment Bill is being is right now under the consideration of Parliament. And since National Commission for Backward Class is also the bill also has a repercussion on National Commission for Scheduled Caste. You may also get a question from National or dealing with National Commission for Scheduled Caste. And also regarding Election Commission of India, Finance Commission, that is Election Commission was also in news. Finance Commission, the terms of reference that has been given for Finance Commission was severely contested by the southern states. So that's the reason why you may get a question regarding composition, the term of reference that has been given to the Finance Commission. What exactly were the, uh, were the famous uh, recommendations of the previous Finance Commission? Like the, uh, like unlike the 13th Finance Commission, the 14th Finance Commission had devolved the maximum, that is 42 percentage was recommended for devolving to the states, which was principally accepted by the central government. So you may get a question like that. And regarding the Lok Pan and Lok Act, uh, this is also very important why, because five years has completed uh, since this particular act came into existence and also along with that Lok Pal, the institution of Lok Pal was also in news, current affairs. So that's the reason why you may get a question regarding Lok Pal also. And about article 35A, it was, uh, it, was, it was also in news why because an NGA that is we the people along with that as uh, a Kashmir native she also had uh, contested this particular article 35A which actually empowers the, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir uh, state legislature uh, legislative assembly to define what exactly permanent resident is which unlike other states uh, which is a special provision or special uh, act or special right which uh, the other states do not enjoy. So again, this was also not inserted through Article 368. So this 35A we had covered in our let's revise also. So it's also very important from a prelims point of view. Along with that, Article 370 is also very important, which deals with Jammu and Kashmir, and also along with that, the special status which uh, Andhra Pradesh is, uh, is actually demanding right now. You, and as a result, you may also get a question regarding what all are the special provisions that have been guaranteed for certain states, for 12 states that has been in the constitution. So what all these areas are? So you may get a question also. So cover these also. Now apart from this, the most important part is regarding the 42nd, 43rd, 44th Constitutional Amendment Act, the emergency. See 44th Constitutional Amendment Act was brought in 1978 and you can say right now it's 2018. So it is actually comes to one hour for the anniversary and that's the reason why you may get a question from 44th Constitutional Amendment Act and it will, it will not be asking directly about what exactly. 44th Constitutional Amendment Act is all about. It may ask, you know, since it is linked with that of 42nd as well as 43rd, you may also get a question from 43rd as well as 42nd Amendment Acts. And since these all were, these all were brought in as a response to our national emergency or emergency that was declared, you may get a question regarding emergency, that is national emergency, state emergency, the, the regarding the how it can be declared, that is what all are, how it can be sustained, how it can be repealed, etc. So these national emergency, state emergency, as well as financial emergency, though it has not been declared, you may get a question regarding it, since it is linked with that of the emergency provision. And also from where this emergency provision is drawn, so whether it's from uh, from where, that is whether it's from Government of India Act or Weimar Act, etc. And also what is the bearing of this particular national emergency on our fundamental rights. 
So these are the areas we have comprehensively covered in our modules and please go through your modules as well as from the, the let's revise modules which we have covered. Now along with that uh, regarding the uh, current affairs which, uh, which were recently in news regarding the state flag which the Karnataka was moving for, for a state flag along with that a national party status recently the Namur Congress it won, uh, it won a national party status and that is the reason why you may get a provision that is asking which, all, which among the following has to be fulfilled in order to get a national party status. And along with that you may also get regarding the state, uh, state party status that is uh, which all party which all needs to be fulfilled in order to get a state party status. Who actually gives this particular status that is a part, national party or state party status. And also electoral bond why because uh, the government of India recently came up with uh, rules regarding or recently uh, published the rules regarding the uh, electoral bonds and that is the reason why you may get a question regarding the electoral bonds also. And regarding minority status for uh, Lingayats was also an issue. It was covered in the daily, uh, daily, uh, dailies across the country, national dailies, and that's the reason why you may get a question from not only from minority status but also that is from National Commission for Minorities. So just relate it and go through the specific provisions. And also, you will also uh, in the cap sessions we have covered some of the most important. Uh, that is one of the most important. We have comprehensively covered, in fact, uh, the current affairs. That is uh, the highly probable current affairs regarding. Uh, the Nyay Mitras and Nyay Grams along with that the paralegal forces etc. So these are very important current affairs which you need to revise it before going for the exam. Now so these are the most important part which you need to cover and uh, this 125 questions which we have covered or we have uh, given in our question it actually touches upon these areas and, and that is the reason why just go through it uh, that is solve as many as questions you can before going for this uh, for this prelims 2018. So that is it from the polity area. So once again I am stressing upon it please uh, please cover or please try to solve as many as questions as you can as a part of your, uh, as a part of your revision because it will actually measure the area or the measure your depth in that particular in that particular area. So that is the reason why this 125 question is very important please go through it and that is it uh, all the best for your prelims the upcoming prelims on June 3rd. Thank you.